Welcome to Digital SAT Deep Dive. My name is Vince. Let's get straight into this. So we've got to support the claim question, and we can see that because of the question wording. So the biggest goal we have here is to understand the claim. And once we understand the claim, we're going to try to predict the answer, just like we always like to do. So we'll, we'll take our time with this just to make sure that we understand how to do this sort of question. Now, let's try to digest some of this study here. The psychologists have argued that experiencing awe, a sensation of reverence and wonder, typically brought on by perceiving something grand or powerful, can enable us to feel more connected to others and thereby inspire us to act more altruistically. Now, this helps a lot if you actually know what altruistically means, but that's basically what they're claiming. We get that right away in the beginning. They're saying that awe makes you feel more connected. And of course, you know what that means. You might not know what altruistic means, but it means to be generous to others. So we have this basic claim, awe equals connection and altruism. Now, we're going to read the rest of it. And with the claim in mind, the Keltner, along with some other people, claims to have found evidence for this effect in a recent study where participants were asked either to gaze up at tall trees in a grove, which is apparently awe-inspiring, or stare at a building that's nondescript, which means kind of plain. After one minute, an experimenter deliberately spilled a box of pens nearby. Okay, now it's kind of weird. You might not understand exactly what they're doing at this point, but let's just go back to the claim and try to make a prediction as best we can, as best we can. So we know that we're going to be looking for something with awe equals like generous. And we know if we, we have a little more information here, right? We have the study, we were either looking at trees or a stupid building. <laughs> you know, the trees are the awe. So we're, we're going to probably see something with the trees connecting to generosity, you know, because the trees equals the awe. So notice we're trying to keep it super simple. Trees, people became altruistic. All right, now let's go choice by choice. Um, let, let's look at choice A. A looks right to me. Doesn't it look right to you? Participants who've been looking at the trees helped the experimenter pick up way more pens than did people who have been looking at the building. That goes right along with our claim, right? The people who experienced awe became more generous. Bingo. Exactly what we wanted. That's the right answer. Now let's see how they're trying to trick us if they are here, which they always are a little bit with the other choices. What about B? Participants who helped the experimenter pick up the pens used a greater number of positive words to describe the trees and the building. Hmm. That's totally unconnected to our claim. That's basically trying to make the argument that people who uh, were generous became more positive in terms of describing things. That's not the connection we need the arrow to kind of go to the right here from awe to generousness you know and it doesn't even that's just totally off yeah so nothing else to say about b what about c participants who did not help the experimenter pick up the pens were significantly more likely to report having experienced a feeling of awe that's just crazy so that's just saying if you weren't generous it's kind of backwards. It's kind of saying, but it's, it's wrong as well. It's saying if you weren't generous, then you got the feeling of awe. Not only is that just absurd, right? In real life, that would never happen in a billion years. <laughs> it just wouldn't, but it's, it's just not what we wanted. We wanted awe to equal generosity, not non-generosity to equal awe. Okay. Now what about D participants who had been looking at the building were more likely to notice that the experimenter had dropped the pens. Why don't we like this? It's just basically connecting lack of awe to noticing stuff. <laughs> okay, nothing to do with generosity. So there's really only one choice that's even in the ballpark here, and that's choice A. So the basic strategy, what did we do? We looked at the passage, we figured out the claim, we simplified it so we could think about it easily. And it's nice to be able to kind of take a quick note mentally 
you know, okay, awe leads to generosity. Awe leads to generosity. Great. And then we just read about the the study. You know, we didn't have to memorize it, but we we kind of got the basics, you know, the people, what they did. And then we knew what we were looking for. We wanted the awe people or the tree people that it very clearly connects with the awe to be the ones who are generous. And of course, A, that's exactly what it does. So be sure you get clear on the claim. And that's really the, the biggest fundamental of this sort of question. And then be careful with the choices. Just make sure that the choice is presenting information the same way the claim does.